The national conversation or process where the people of these islands will be called upon to make every effort to discuss many issues affecting the TCI. So far, there have been a number of presentations on local radio stations with former members of parliament and members of the clergy. There was a national conversation meeting December 6th where Gordon Carr, Floyd Seymour, Simon Wood and Royal Robinson discussed the country's economy. The national conversation has been receiving support. Residents say... It is a good idea. I'm Timothy Palmer. I'm proud to be a part of National Conversation. And next week I'll be, I'll be back again. Yeah. Thank you, you very much. The oh, it's very good. It's a very good idea. And the farming in North Cakes, it's very good to see it get, get it going and get it developed. Truth, there is some things that we need to do. And expanding on some of the recommendations that was made, I think it was a good thing. And those of us who have ideas, and if we can pool these ideas, we are able to see a way out and take our country forward. Rather than sitting around complaining, it, it, it's, it's like uh, you're putting something together and something happens. So we need new ideas and getting this thing going again and getting our country going again. I found it very interesting from the perspective um, that I've I've been away from Turks and Caicos, but I've been connected to it. But in the sense that being away, I've seen it from the outside. So now I'm coming back into the fold, as it were, and seeing it from the inside now. So to me, it's more of a listening process for myself, listening to what the people here are feeling and experiencing, because that's not what I have seen from afar. I've seen a different perspective because I've been on the outside, having people come here, which is a completely different experience for them. We also heard from Draxwell Seymour, CEO of Lime. I'm very, very much impressed. I'm very pleased with the national um, conversation. I mean, tonight I think is one of the best conversations I think we've had in the Turks and Caicos Islands for a while. So I'm hoping that we can continue that conversation and not only just continue it, let's um, do some action points from it and let's, let's put it into place. And I think tonight we have both four panelists and they each give different points and those points sort of overlay with each other. And so we, we're hoping that we could go forward with that. There were some great ideas, and I've learned a lot tonight. Lead coordinator of the National Conversation said the turnout was encouraging Tuesday night. I think the turnout was better than I expected because the economy is not pretty, is not really a topic that everybody on the street would want to be talking about. If it comes down to dollars and cents, yes. Um, we've had about 50 plus persons in the room. I think that's more than Kate Sullivan on the Constitution. So I think it is good because I look at the, the, the caliber of persons and the, the, the individuals that were actually drawn out to this meeting. I mean, I, I was very impressed with, with the persons that, that came out, but I'm certainly going to be looking for more in the town hall meeting when we'll be dis discussing all issues. I mean, the economy is, is, is seen as a taboo to many persons. They don't feel they know enough. So what tonight was really about was more of an educational platform to launch us into next week. News 4 will continue to follow the national conversation. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.